How many of your how many of your family left Islam because of me? Well, my my little brother watches your videos and it's just fucked up, you know. Oh. Uh, A, go ahead, please. The person, his name is A. <coughs> go ahead. Uh, oh, yes. So, um, I, I know you from my brother. I know you from my brother. And I don't think you uh, realize the gravity of what you're doing yet. Be, like, you're affecting a lot of families, the communities with what you're Like, I just got to produce community. I see how you work and operate, and it's like, you know, like I, I don't get it. I, I don't understand why you're doing this. What do you mean why I'm doing this? Like, just spreading, like, false information about Islam. You're taking young people, confusing them, getting them away from their religion. Well, that sounds so, sound like you are sure. So can you give me the false information I just gave? listening to you and you were talking about the miracles it's a miracle for a reason it's not gonna make sense which one is a miracle well uh Suleiman talking to the to the ants for example like what is <laughs> what is so funny about that i don't get it yeah you tell me what is the logic of Suleiman speak what we heard the quran speak about jesus across in less than eight words eight words but when he speak about the ant he give us a page who, what we get, what is the benefit of the ant speaking to Suleiman and Suleiman is speaking to the ant? What is that? What we learn now? And how this is a miracle. This is a scientific miracle because simply ants don't talk. They don't speak. Well, ants are, ants, no. Ants is the deaf. You see, the Quran did not say Allah made the ant talk. Suleiman, he heard the ant, the ant she said to the other ants, which mean all ants, they talk. So your God Allah made a mistake because either the ants talk or the ants, they don't talk. If you read really carefully, you see. They, com they communicate. They communicate, but you, if you read, it says he heard her speech. What speech? He heard, he heard Suleiman, he hear with his, eye, his, his, his ears, he's a human at the end of the day. So, the and she said, do you see the word said? Do you see Suleiman says he was amused at her speech? So this is not a miracle. This is a, just a silly, stupid story. Take him from, from the legion of the Jews. Go right now and search in Google. Forget about Christian Prince. Type in Google the, the legend of the Jews. Hold on. The legend of the Jews, the legend of the Jews, the story of the ant, Suleiman and the ant. You will see it there. This is legions. So how Muhammad he take a legion, the Jews they tell it to their to their kids, and he make it part of his holy Quran. Uh, how do you know that it's a legend? Maybe it is because it exists, it exists long before Islam. The Jews have it. Search right now. You know why you don't? Yes, but Islam, Islam is it's a continuation of Ex exactly. It's a continuation, but continuation of legions because this is a legion. It cannot be found in any holy book, and nobody will believe in such a, 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 a you know, stupid story. Let me ask okay, you. What about what okay. about what about Jesus uh, turning water into wine? Well, there's a point of that. Jesus is God. What the point of Suleiman speaking to the end? What we learn from this now? And look, my friend, you can read, right? It says here, okay, it says here, all you people, we have been taught the speech of the birds. Okay, what Allah, he taught Suleyman? The language of the birds. So how he understand the ant? Well, if he can teach him uh, the to understand the birds, I, why cannot he teach him to understand the ants? So now if I learn the, the language of the chicken and the dogs, I can understand the language of the of the lizard? No, 
Okay, but this is not a this is not a this is not a bird. Is is the and the way he said bird, he's, he should say uh, we've been taught the language of all animals. No, he said the birds. So now he he been taught the language of the birds, and then suddenly he is speaking to the ant. And there was because that was a specific situation. Uh, okay, my friend, I'm, I'm going to ask you, uh, to be listen, finished. listen, I'm going to tell you about a miracle happening to my grandfather and tell me if this is true or not. My grandfather, he died standing because he was holding a stick. My grandmother, she go inside the bedroom each time she see him for a year. She did not notice that he is dead. Why? Because when he died, he was holding a stick. Do you believe my story or you don't? what you are trying to connect this with uh -huh. that is also another miracle what miracle i mean the guy he, nobody noticed because he was holding a stick not the, because god made him stand he's holding a stick and because of the stick nobody noticed he's dead the guy is dead for a year and then when the when the termite when the termite they ate his stick what is the miracle termite they destroy the miracle of allah Allah allowed them to destroy it. No, show me where it says yes. Allah, he wanted to hide his death. Can't Allah increase his age one year more? You know, do he, what is this for? So the, the, the Suleiman, the same person, he died, you know, and now Allah don't want anyone to know. Look like Allah is not in control of death. He don't want anyone to know because he not finished the temple. So Allah, he made Suleiman when he died, die when he's standing. You know, there's always a way to make a story look stupid, you know, and you are very good at that. Ah, you just, you just admitted that it's stupid. I could tell me what the point of this now. And oh. Don't change what I said. There's always a way to make a story look stupid. No, no, stupid. I'm giving you the mic. Make it smart. Go ahead. I am a person is good to make a story look bad. Is that what he said, guys? Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm not going to disturb you. Make this a story smart. Go ahead. I don't remember the details of the story. No problem. Take your time. Chapter 34. There's no. There's nothing to remember. It doesn't say anything. Quran is just a silly book. There's no connection between the verse before it and the verse after it. <laughs> Read the verse before it. There's nothing to do with the, with the one. So now he made and he built the Maharib and even he built statues. So, okay. So now when when we decided to decree death on him, who is the one who decreed death? Allah. Okay, why you want to hide death? Why you decree death if you don't want people to know that he is dead? Why? He made a mistake? So go ahead, you said, and, and, and you said, I can make a story look stupid, but in fact, it's, it's not. You, he will, it's because he was putting the gin to work. And My friend. They needed him. But is they it, needed him to observe them and watch them. Okay, but isn't it the jinn is an ugly creatures and they are the shaitan? So the shaitan now they are working for Allah, building a mosque? Yeah, they were working... Uh, what uh, what working woman? They are building a mosque. Shayateen. Yes. Okay, yes, guys, do you hear it? Why Shaitan will build the mosque for Allah? I thought he is the enemy of Allah. Well, uh, because he had the authority over them, and that was from Allah. This is another question. Why Shaitan will build the mosque for Allah? I thought this is the enemy. He should not be allowed to enter the mosque. It turned to be that even in a mosque is built by Allah. Oh, sorry, by Shaitan. Is Shaitan a Muslim? Uh, what? Is Shaitan a Muslim? Some of, the, some, of, some of the jinn are Muslim. I'm not talking about the jinn now. I said Shaitan. Focus with me. No, he is not Muslim. Are you sure? Yes. All right. This is the Quran. The Quran says that Shaitan he worked for Allah, and he worship Allah. 
and he obey Allah. Read it carefully. Chapter 15, verse number 39. Allah and Shaitan, they, are, they have a very good relationship. They are friends. In fact, Shaitan, he worship Allah. Iblis Satan said, Oh my God, because you mislead me. Do you see it? Chapter 15, verse number 39. Tell me how Shaitan and why Shaitan worshiping Allah and he is a Muslim and why Allah misled a good Muslim boy. His name is Iblis. I'm listening. Remember, I am the one who make any story look so stupid. So you are welcome to make this story so smart. Go ahead. Well, the word misled is Avwaitani, which is it's not really misled. It's more like uh, I I cannot find the right word, but seduced me, I guess. <laughs> That's even more ugly. You try to fix it, you make it a blind. So Allah He said you shaitan to do bad. You are, yes, by making, you are right. I yes. guess by making the humans and making what making a human? Making it's the, you who said Allah. Adam, wait, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Not by making Adam. Don't make things up. He did not say anything about Adam. He says no. I'm, I'm trying to explain the story logically. Like, you cannot just. You have to think about the okay, story. But you, you did. Just, but you like, did say. You did say essential. Allah. He said use shaitan. Did you say that? Wait, let, let me try to think of a better word. Uh, no, no, this is the correct word. This is the correct word. You speak Arabic, I speak Arabic. You said the truth. So, Allah, He seduced Shaitan to do wrong. Why Allah will do that? Okay, I, I found it uh, tempted me. I think that's a better word. No, 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 no. Al Riwaya. Yes. Al okay, let me show you. Here we go. The same, the same word. Yes. The same word in the Quran, yes. you will see Al Gawin. Listen, listen, my friend. Al Gawin, who is Al Gawin? As long as you speak Arabic. I'm waiting for you. No, wait, let's, let's stay. Let's stay on the we, we are staying. We are not moving. We are not moving. We are still talking about the same word. What the word Al Gawin mean? The people who want something. Really? I thought the criminals. I thought the criminals, the bad, the evil doer. Are you sure there's people that want something like somebody want ice cream? Is that what they mean? Me? That, that, um, um, well, out of context, I think it's correct to say that people who want something. No, no, that's false. Okay, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong on that. Uh, maybe no, because you know that the Christian prince cannot be wrong in this. You know, let's go. Here we go. Let us go. I'm typing. Uh, there's. Uh, this website is weird. Let us see. There is. I don't know what it says. Al Gawin. Yeah, it's one. Right. Sorry. It says here. Inna ibadi leisa laka alayhum sultan illa man attaba'ak min al Gawin. Yeah. Okay. Who, who is Al Gawin? Who is Al Gawin? Let us see what it says. Al Gawin is those who they are evil you can open the translation you can open the interpretation and you will see al gawin is the criminals the evil doers the the filthy okay, but, but do you agree that that's the definition in the quran not in arabic read carefully yeah this is a definition in the quran and in arabic but how is that in? I don't see it in Arabic like that. Why is it evil? Al, because Al-Gawin Al is description for the evil ones. Read carefully. This is your translation. Certainly you shall not, you shall have no authority over my slaves except those who follow you of Gawin. Between two bracket, Mushrikeen and those who go astray, criminals, polytheists, evil doers, etc. This is what Al-Gawin means. Do you see it? Okay. So Shaitan he said, Awaitani, which is translated by Muslims as misled me, and you translated it as he seduced me. Allah he seduced Shaitan to be what? To be mushrik, to go astray, and to be criminal, you want me to, tell to you become to polytheist, me. and to become an evildoer. Allah he made Shaitan do that. He seduced him. You Why? Want me, 
Why? You know how he should do it. Why? Well, I'll tell you how he did it. No, no, I'm not asking you how. I'm asking why he did it. Well, okay, I'll... I don't know how to start by why. Let me start by first. No, no, like because, to, because to how, I don't care. I don't care, my friend. I can I can seduce you by a woman. I can seduce you by a potato, tomato. This is not the the the, the intention of it is the important. Why Allah want to make Shaitan? Shaitan was not a bad person, as you see. Shaitan was a victim of Allah. Shaitan is a victim of Allah. Well, maybe it was the maybe it was the death from Allah as well. No, it says clearly, you misled me. Allah did not say no. I did not. He agreed with this. Uh -oh. Give me, give me the test Allah He gave to Shaitan, and then we will see if there is a test. There is no test. Allah. Well, he he became he became he became one of the Al Gawin. But he, he but he just convinced that Allah is the one who made him Gawin. <laughs> so Allah misled him. And now I'm asking you, what is the test Allah gave to Ad, to to to, to Shaitan? Adam, he been taught not to eat from the tree, correct? Yeah. Okay. What is the test Allah he gave to Shaitan? Did he tell him don't talk to Adam? Did they tell him not to deceive him? So which one happened first? Uh, uh, Shaitan must be deceived before the story of Adam. No, he he was he was jealous. What jealous? Okay, where do you get this story from? So we were in the Quran say Shaitan was jealous. In fact, the Quran says that Allah He have an argument with the angels, and they say to him, "Are you going to create someone who will do do mis mischievement and mislead?" He said, "I know what you know not." So then he asked, he asked the he asked the angels to bow down, and to to Adam as a penalty. Correct. Yeah. Okay. But Shaitan, he refused to bow down. Is that correct? Yeah. But Shaitan is not an angel. Allah, he command the angels to bow down. Why is he upset from Shaitan? Hmm? Shaitan is not an angel in Islam. Shaitan in Christianity, Satan is an angel. He's a foreign angel. In Islam, he's just a genie. So imagine I say, old cat, same yo, except the dog, he says, ow. And then I get upset from the dog. Well, he's not a cat. Allah commanded the angels to go down. Do you see where it says Allah commanded the angels and Satan to go down? No. So why Allah is upset from the shaitan? He is not part of the conversation. He did not accuse Adam of anything. He is not the one who said Adam would do mischief. Man. It was just the angels, Allah and the angels speaking. So why even, it's not even fair. Why Adam should bow down to someone he had nothing to do with him? Here you see that Allah is being unjust. He is punishing someone he did nothing wrong. He did not talk to Adam. He did not accuse Adam. He had nothing to do with Adam conversation. It was only Allah and the angels. And then we are upset because he did not bow down. In the top of that, if you read the story carefully, you will see how silly the author of the Quran. Allah wanted to prove to the to the angels when they accuse Adam that he know what they know not. As we see in verse number 30, chapter 2, 30. Allah, he decided to get them busted. How? He taught Adam the names. He said to him, this cat, her name is Susu. This dog, his name is Fufu. This this uh, this tree, it's called Mulberry. And now Allah want to show them that they do not not. He's God. He is the one who knows everything. So he put the dog and the cat and the tree in the front of the angel. And he said to them, Tell me the names of those things if you are truthful. In fact, do you see the word truthful? What is the opposite of sadiqin? He said to them, 
in kuntum sadiqin. What is the opposite of sadiqin? Liars. Liars, thank you very much. So Allah is accusing the angels to be a liars. The angels of Islam proven to be all of them liars in the Quran. It's in the front of you. So if they are truthful, they will be able to say the names. They said to him, Allah, how we can do that? We do not know. Which is funny. The angel said to him, well, what we are doing, the opposite. You give us those things, we give it names, and you tell us the names. I mean, isn't it funny that I am the one who called the dog Juju, and then I ask you, what is the name of my dog? And then you say to me, I do not know. And then I say his name is Juju, and that is the proof that I am God. How that work? It should be the opposite. Very silly, stupid story. And now... That's, that's really, it's, that, that, that also can show us how... Allah can create things and... No, 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 this is not about create. This is not about create, my friend. Hold on. This case, it says Allah, he taught Adam the names. And by the way, the same thing is mentioned in the Bible, but not what Muhammad is saying now. God said, taught Adam the names. In the Bible meant God gave Adam knowledge about things around him. That's it. So how Adam, he knew it, angels would not. That's, that's silly. Isn't it you Muslim, you say angels, they can hear us when we are talking? Isn't it you Muslim, you say angels are everywhere? Suddenly now the angels, they are not? What happened? Uh, no, at that, at that moment. Ah, at that moment. Like... At that moment, they took drugs. They, they were taking drugs. Yeah, yeah. But look what happened now. Your God is accusing angels to be liars. You receive your Quran from who? From an angel. Is that correct? Uh, in in Kuntum Sadiqin, about, 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 like, it's not an about their first like uh, their nature it's not like all oh, their liars uh, or like they're lying beings mm. because of that moment what so, lame uh -huh. that, that my uh, that the humans will uh, what the human my friend i ask you what is the opposite of a truthful you yourself you said liars i agree with you yeah. so now allah if accusing angels to be liar about this topic, that means they can be liars about everything. You can't be liar in one thing and truthful in the other thing. A liar is a liar. <laughs> when you lie, I don't, you I see. Don't, I don't see it. No, you see it. You see it. You are just uh, trying to 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 play dumb now. If I lied, that means I lied. Is that correct? I cannot say I am the truthful, because the second you commit sin. Isn't it your prophet? You say but when when everybody commits sin. Why we why we call him a sinner? Because simply every one of us commits sin. The second you commit one sin, you are a sinner. It doesn't matter how many. One, two, three, four, five. Doesn't matter. You're just counting. But still, sin is sin. And now, according to this, they are committing sin. They are not truthful. They are liars. And look what your God did. He ordered them to bow down to a man. And this is against what Muslim they claim that Islam is a religion of monotheism and we bow down only to Allah. Suddenly now the angels are bowing down to a man who will do mischievement. And guess what? The angels, they were right. Adam, he did mischievement and Allah himself, just a few verses after, he came out of heaven. So the angels, they told the truth and Allah is ignorant. Allah, he kicked the same person who he just said, I know what you know not. The angel said to him, this guy will do bad. Him and his kids, Allah accused them of lying. So who is the liar? Look what happened. According to religion, Allah, he decreed the sin of Adam before he created him. 40 years, 40 years before his creation. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. So Adam did not commit sin, based on this, correct? No, it, it, he, he did, and it was decreed for him. It was, out, yes, you can say it was out of his control. But so, so, so hold on, so, so when, when I commit sin and you force me to commit sin, is that really sin? If you force me? That's a very complicated topic.
No, 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 it is very easy and you're smart and you speak Arabic and I'm showing the difference. Your God, he forced Adam to commit sin, which means he forced Shaitan to commit sin too. That's why he said, Awaitani. So both of them, they are victims of the evil God Allah. As you see here, Moses saying to Adam, Hey, Adam, because of you, we are out of heaven. Adam says to Moses, you ignorant idiot, you are the one who spoke to Allah. Don't you know that Allah, he forced me to commit sin in a decree 40 years before my creation. So why Allah is punishing shaitan if this is a plan from Allah? Which means shaitan, I will make shaitan. Now we connect the dots. Shaitan, he said to Allah, Agwaitani, you misled me. How? He made him do, come to Adam. And play with him. He forced him. Adam been forced too to commit sin, to disobey Allah. And all this plan is designed by Allah 40 years for both. So both of them they are victims of the real devil, like Allah. Yeah, well, when you, uh, like I said, there's always a uh... More than one way to look at us a story as you perceive it my you friend look at what it. way what way listen this is the decree you agreed allah he decreed can adam change it no don't tell me one way other way three there is no way this is decree destiny can adam change his destiny no it's, it's more like knowledge like no 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 this is not knowledge don't make it think things up you see he's saying to him adam says to moses do you blame me which means we cannot blame him. If he is, if it's about knowledge only, yes, we can blame Adam. He commits sin. Correct. Knowledge of Allah will not change that he commits sin. So we can blame you. But this is not what happened. Are you blaming me for something which Allah decreed? Decreed, not Allah knows. So why we can't blame Adam? Because this is not his choice. He been forced to, and your prophet he says that Adam he won the argument. So we cannot blame Adam for his sin. What happened? Did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? Um, no, not, not that. All I'm trying to. I'm holding. Are you holding? I don't think you are holding. I think you are collapsing. With my respect to you, your argument is false. This is Satan. What we see in front of us is Satan. Satan is forcing people to commit sin. This is going to be God. God is about just. So why Adam was kicked out from heaven? Isn't it the same? In no, Bible. no, in the Bible, God did not decree for Adam to commit sin. God told him, don't commit sin. Adam commits sin. Here is a different story. Your God, he forced Adam and Shaitan. So now Shaitan himself is a person committing sin, forced by Allah. Adam himself, he forced to commit sin by Allah. So Shaitan and Adam, both of them, are victims of the biggest criminal which is Islam, religion, Allah. That, that, like, yeah. Um, I, I see your points, but I don't agree with it. Okay, let us see, let us see if you would agree with me or not. I will go for something else. When you commit fornication, do you choose to commit fornication or Allah forces you to commit fornication? As I said, Christian, uh, Christian Prince, it didn't, like, I, I'm, I wasn't here to come and, like, talk into these topics with you. I just want to tell you that, like, what you're doing is more than just having fun and making fun of a religion. It's, like, affecting a lot of families and 
How many of your fa how many of your family left Islam because of me? Well, my my little brother watches your videos and is just fucked up, you know. Oh. So look like you are the same now. You are leaving Islam because you could not answer me, and now you are trying to change the topic. My family because of you. My family. Uh, if your brother he did not find this Islam is stupid, he will not leave Islam. He did not f up as you said. He is the right one. And now you're trying to change the topic because you have no answer. You are out of answers. You don't know what to say. You came here to accuse me of misleading Muslims, making thousands of Muslims leave Islam. You don't know the impact you are doing in our society. It's not my fault. I'm just saying the truth. And the truth will set you free. That's what Jesus said. So you cannot answer why Allah will force you to commit fornication. How that is just. And then how he will punish me for it. How Allah, he forced Adam to commit sin and then he punished him for it. How Allah forced shaitan to commit sin and then he punished him for it. This is not God. God is about just. All right, well, I, I don't have an answer for you. Um, what about leaving Islam myself and my, my, my friend right now and, and save yourself? You don't have an answer because obviously the proofs is overwhelming. You came, you insulted me in the beginning claiming that I'm lying, making stories look stupid, sound stupid when they are not, when in fact I am not doing that. I am showing you how stupid it is. And now you agreed with me. That's why you cannot answer. You speak Arabic. You are born in an Arabic family, I can tell. And you can read both in English and Arabic. So what is the excuse for you to say, I do not know? It's obvious. This God, he forced sin. If you don't commit sin, he will even destroy you, Muhammad said. Adam is a victim. Shaitan is a victim. Eve is a victim. I mean, everybody is a victim of Allah. So the real sinner in this earth, if he exists, it is the devil Allah. Because only evil one will force people to do evil and then he laugh at them, accusing them of doing evil. He's not even admitting that this is his evil. So while Jesus, he said, I came for the sick, not for the healthy. Your God in the Quran says, are you going to guide the one who Allah misguide? So what his job is to misguide? And not only that, nobody can guide the one who I misguide. What kind of logic this logic is? Why Allah even misguiding people and why he will not be them gu guided? So I advise you, my friend, I'm not against you, by the way. I listen to you all the way, even though you are, your accusation is an insult to me. But I understand. I, I advise you right now to leave Islam, the same as your brother he did. All right, well, um, uh, I, have, I have nothing else to say. I'm going to hang up. Did you decide to leave Islam? You, said you left Islam, right? No, no. You did. No, that's, uh, then stay that's, that's, yeah. then stay and prove me wrong you are you just admitted that Islam cannot refute me you just when you say I'm going to leave simply no, I don't I don't have the information I don't have no you do I gave you that you, you do not need books the, the the story in front of you your prophet did not give you books beside this he gave you this that's it this is the story read it the story of the first sin of the first man is not Adam's sin, it is Allah. Where do you want to go? Even your prophet make it clear that even when someone he commit fornication, all kind of sin, it was a decree. Decree. So now if I go and sleep with women, why Allah want to punish me for sleeping with women? Why there is a punishment for adultery when this is nothing but a decree from Allah? And you must commit. What a madness religion. 
Where is this decree? It's in front of you. Do you see it? This is the name of the chapter. Chapter of the son of Adam, share of Zina, etc. Decreed from him. Do you see it? I can show it to you in Arabic. You speak Arabic. وَحَظَّهُ مِنَ الزِّنَى This is بَابُ الْقَدَرِ قُدِّرَ عَلَى إِبْنُ آدَمْ قُدِّرَ It's a decree. What kind of God? He made us fornicate. So he can punish us for fornication. He forces us to fornicate. What you will do now? You will say, I have to go? You run away from the truth? Is that how a smart, intelligent man like you do when he faced something yeah. obvious? Oh well, yeah, I just, I just wanna, I don't wanna hang up and say nothing. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm, I'm sorry, man, but thank you for having me and uh, have a nice day. Well, I'm glad that you let us stand, my friend. And we will pray that soon you will accept Jesus. That is not gonna happen. You left Islam already. You just ag agreed with everything I said. You are out of Islam. You are. And say hello to your brother. Maybe soon we will meet in the church together. Praise the Lord. We are always victorious. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me?